Mm-hmm. Then whoever selected it, not forget, forget about the who did it. Mm-hmm. The guy who selected it laid it out. Mm-hmm. Pretty well done. I have known Bharat since 1958. As a student in the first year of college, we were together, and that's when we got connected and became friends. This friendship has been going on for over 50 years. Bharat then went to engineering, and I went to physics. But ever since I have known him, I have admired his interest in poetry. When we got reconnected here back in the US in 1964, his poetry interest was still alive. He talks about going back to his village, talks about lots of great memories of his childhood, relatives, friends, the tree under which he played, and all of these things are very, very important to him as well as to me. So on one hand, there is an engineer in him. On the other hand, there is a poet in him. And I see connection between his poetry and his engineering. Engineering is much more structured. It has system to it, a rhythm to it, input, output, delay, feedback, and his poetry also has, to some extent, all of these system elements in it. To me personally, poetry is all about mathematics. Like painting is also about mathematics. These are structures. I look at painting and I see in painting a lot of math. I look at math and I see in math a lot of art. And I think Bharat, to some extent, connects his engineering to his poetry. But at the end of the day, his poetry really goes back to his childhood, his roots, his love for that little cow that he grew up with, his love for little cricket game they played with friends on dirt, his love for that little old lady he saw when he was seven years old. His love for taking bath in the local river. All of these things bring him back to his childhood, to his friends, to his family. I don't think Bharat has really gotten out of that yet. And that's his strength. He did get his PhD here in mechanical engineering, worked at Bell Labs, taught at various universities, including at Illinois Institute of Technology. But every once in a while, he'll come back to his poetry. He'll go construct something. And when I found out that he's collecting a lot of this stuff, I sort of pushed him into publishing it. I said, Bharat, why don't you put all this together and let's do a book? And then we use some of my doodles earlier to put in his books to sort of combine poetry with a little bit of sketches and a little bit of doodles. And a lot of our friends got excited about it. And that gave Bharat, I believe, a little more courage to go do some more books. He is very well recognized in Gujarati poetry circles. I don't get to read a lot of his Gujarati poetry, but I must say that he has made a name for himself in Gujarat and Gujarati poetry circles. He has now been writing in English, publishing in English, and I wish him all the best. I hope that all our friends would read his poetry and that will bring them back to their roots, sweet memories of their childhood, and essentially complete the journey.